ArchiCAD comes preloaded with a large variety of line types. To find these line types, simply double click on the line tool to bring up the settings. And under general settings, click on the line on the line type area. You'll be presented with a large list of line types. Once you've picked it and clicked OK, when you start drawing a line, you will start drawing with that particular line type. If you don't find the line type that's suitable for your needs, you can create your own. Part one of creating your own line type is to draw it on your floor plan using only the line, the arc or the polyline tool. As an example, I'll be creating a line that indicates underground power lines. I'm going to start with a line, then I'm going to place some text that I can use to trace around. Using the polyline tool, I'm just going to start placing my text over the text. Continue this procedure until the entire word has been spelt out. Here is the text that I created previously. The next step is to select all of this information and explode it into separate lines and arcs. To do this, click on the edit menu, move down to reshape and choose explode into current view. You'll want to choose keep drawing primitives only. Push OK. At this point, all these lines have been exploded into separate entities. At this point, we're going to copy the line elements into the line type. So click on Edit, choose Copy, go to Options, Element Attributes, and then Line Types. We're going to create a new line type, so click on New, choose Symbol for the line type, and then give it a name. In this case, we're going to call it Power. Push OK, then we paste the line components. Click on Paste, and they will immediately appear in the area above. At this point, we can set how often this line repeats, or what is called the dash. At 1 to 100, 10 millimeters equals 1 meter, and therefore, the line will repeat once every meter. We can also set the gap, in case you wanted to leave a gap between the line and the next portion of the line. In this case we want the gap to be zero. So this way the line becomes continuous. We can also choose whether we want it to scale the plan or whether you want it to scale independently. If it scales with the plan that means that if you change for example from 1 to 100 to a scale of 1 to 10 the line will increase in size. Whereas if it scales independently the line would stay the same physical size at all times. In this case I'm going to choose scale with plan. If I click OK and my line type has been created. So if I go to the line tool, click on solid line and scroll to the bottom which goes off the screen, I can choose power. I can of course choose the pen type. Bear in mind that the word power will become obscure if the line type or the line pen thickness is too thick. When I click OK, I can start drawing with my new line type. 